Well, this is the last day of CES, and after a week of robots and high-tech cars, the show finishes up with a hackathon. Some of the most creative minds compete for ways to make Las Vegas a smarter city. Action News reporter Tom George was at the Venetian for the big competition. Right now, there are teams of dozens of hackers from around the world using their powers for good. The city of Las Vegas opened up its data. The goal is to find solutions to the city's problems. On the last day of CES, as Las Vegas plays host to thousands of the best innovators in technology, a meeting of the minds to give back to the city that welcomed them this past week. They're really passionate about this. They love the idea that there's developers out there looking to go ahead and help create smart city solutions. The Smart Cities Hackathon partnered with the city of Las Vegas to use data on everything from traffic congestion to water conservation to compete for the best ideas to improve Las Vegas. This team came up with technology that can analyze speech and behavior to detect PTSD in first responders. Um, to analyze the content of like uh, textual reports mm -hmm. to see if we can detect signs of PTSD or depression or any other ailments through them. And with Las Vegas already moving towards all green energy and city buildings, this is just the beginning. By having these people come together and come up with innovative solutions, we find ways to get them actually out there in the real world and put some of these technologies to use. Now this isn't just for fun. The Las Vegas city manager was actually on the panel and is judging this event and the winner will get to work with the city's innovation team to possibly implement some of these solutions. Tom George, 13 Action News.